What's going on guys, it's your boy Gio here, back at it again with yet another video. And in today's topic, we're going to be talking about 12 myths about hair loss. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. But with that said, let's get into it. So myth number one is shaving your hair every day stops hair loss and makes hair thicker. Illusions, Mr. Anderson. Vagaries of perception. Ignore me just quoting my favorite movie, comment down below if you got it though. Anyways, moving on, I'm pretty sure we've all heard this. I personally believe this one for the longest time, but it is a myth that has no foundation. Shaving cannot create any prerequisites for enhancing hair growth. Physical exposure alone is not enough. It's your genetics that determine the growth and quality of hair. I did this for the longest time for my beard and no results whatsoever. Same goes for any hair that grows on your body or scalp. Myth number two is that blondes have less hair than brunettes. It's the opposite though. Blondes have thinner hair follicles, but their hair count number is higher. The total amount of hair varies depending on the color and the individual, obviously. But we're talking about this on a global scale. On average, blondes have a hair count of 150,000, while brunettes on average have 100,000 to 120,000. Myth number three is dandruff and psoriasis is contagious. Dandruff indicates the increased secretion of sebum, which is a natural oil produced by the body, which increases the number of exfoliating skin pieces. It isn't contagious or dangerous. Same goes for psoriasis, which is a skin disorder that causes skin cells to multiply at a faster rate, which is an autoimmune disease that cannot be spread to person to person. And neither of these are directly linked to hair loss. Myth number four is that women's hair is different from men's hair. The structure of hair is the same in both genders. Usually women have more damaged hair due to styling, dyeing, and other procedures that cause thinning or the deterioration of hair follicles. The reason why hair loss is more common in men rather than women is more testosterone production, which in turn means more DHT production, making them more likely to suffer from the condition called androgenic alopecia. Myth number five is periodic, aka seasonal hair loss, is the beginning of baldness. Usually during the year, there are two periods where we can see increased hair loss, which is autumn and spring. These cycles are associated with the different phases of hair growth and are completely natural. As in, there is nothing to worry about. Hairs are shed, not lost. The reason for this is unknown and has no scientific explanation, but what we do know is that seasonal hair loss is more common amongst women than men. Myth number six is a hair dryer damages your hair. This is true only if you dry your hair without styling products. If you use foam or thermal protection, then you should not worry too much. The same goes for a hair straightener and a curling iron. Myth number seven is wearing hair in a ponytail or a bun causes your hair to fall out more. This is only possible if the hair is tied up in an extremely tight knot to the point that it causes pain. In any other case, wearing your hair in a ponytail or bun is perfectly fine. Myth number eight is wearing a hat causes your hair to fall out even faster. This is simply only true if you wear extremely tight hats that don't allow enough air circulation and cut off the blood flow to your head. Although if you're wearing hats that tight, then yeah, you're going to have a whole set of different problems. So please just don't do it. At number nine is dyeing your hair causes hair loss. Not true. Almost all cosmetic procedures on your hair might be harmful when they're done too often. Fact is, it cannot lead to male pattern baldness. It will most likely damage your hair and leave it looking brittle and unhealthy. But other than that, you're good. Myth number 10 is that bald men have higher testosterone levels. Nope. Male pattern baldness, aka androgenic alopecia, is hereditary, which means hair follicles are genetically more sensitive to androgens. The level of testosterone and other male sex hormones don't affect this process at all. At number 11, we have an odd one, but apparently quite frequently asked, which is weightlifting causes hair loss. Some people believe that the fluctuation in hormones, in particular the release of testosterone, leads to baldness. However, there is no proven connection between lifting weights and premature hair loss. On the contrary, physical activity strengthens your immune and cardiovascular system and is the key to longevity and health. The endorphins produced during a workout suppress the damaging effects of stress on the body. As we all know, stress is probably one of the main reasons for accelerated hair loss. At number 12, we have the gem that is too much sex and masturbation causes your hair to fall out. 
Look, I don't know if that's because of this guy right here, but brace yourselves because the answer is nope. There is no scientific evidence that masturbation or too much sex causes hair loss. But let's be real, if it did, ain't nobody gonna stop either of those. Anyways, that is it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're looking for more useful tips about hair growth, beard grooming, and hair restoration, check out any of our previous videos or check out our website, HairGC. It'll be the first link in the description box down below. My name is Gio, and I'll see you soon.